Hi there and welcome to part 10 of the KiCad tutorial. So the point of this tutorial is really to finish off the PCB design. I've thought of some things like a battery holder and things like that. Just in case you are following along and actually want to build this thing. What I noticed by the way is that when we joined up, um, put on the switch, I realised there was still a trace, a VCC trace there. Which kind of makes like no point of the switch. So that cannot be there. Otherwise the switch is serving no purpose. VCC can only come from the switch. Or through the switch. Right, so what I want to add on there is an actual battery connector. So I have been having a look and there's one um, called Keystone 2468 battery holder, 2 times AAA. So that will give us 3 volts and that should be fine and it won't be too heavy on the bauble. So it's a bit bonkers but another idea I had would be to put a USB connector on the top here on the back or my micro USB would be better but we've, this is a through hole only design so it would be very difficult to do but you could have a USB A connector on the back and then you could call it a kind of computer bauble. One for, you know, just attaching to your computer. But we'll stick a battery on the back. Maybe you can make some modifications and change it yourself. Now, in order to get a battery on the back, we actually need to create a new footprint. So, what we're going to do is create a footprint for this. I found the um, PDF for it. And it's pretty straightforward. So, let's just do that. So, go to PCB Editor. Active library, let's go back to the Christmas bauble library or use this active library if you didn't follow the tutorial through and if you don't have a Christmas bauble library. But we'll set the active library to Christmas bauble. It's just called bauble, I think, isn't it? C bauble. Right. Then create a new component, new footprint, and we'll call this uh, battery. Just battery holder, what was it? 62468. Oh, <laughs> see what they did there. Right, now I'm just going to move this about. Oh, by the way, yeah, we should have edited that on. Let's edit that to that. Right, now looking at the specification, what it actually has is these are all the mounting holes. So. Two of them are here, there and there, and then the other two are under the pins. So it tells us everything we need to know, really. There's a 12.7 mil, or half an inch, or 12.7 mil spacing between these two pins. And the diameter of the pin, or is that of the hole, the diameter of the hole is 1.02. So we've got to make a hole of 1.02. I'm not sure if I trust them. <laughs> I'm not sure if I trust them. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Terminals 0.81 diameter, and they're saying that the hole needs to be 1.02, so that that's probably fine. So that's not bad. I hope so anyway. PC terminals. I don't know what they mean actually by. No. PC terminals. That's probably these things, isn't it? Maybe. Because it's in the same list as spring. Anyway, so when you open a, something like this, you're going to have to make some kind of assumptions if it's like that. I'm just going to make the assumption because I don't know. I'm just going to assume that even though it says hole I just don't know I just don't know whether I trust it or not so I'm going to make it 1.5 just in case so it will definitely fit in there because it doesn't matter if it's too big in our case you know we're just going to solder it anyway just means there'll be a bit more solder to flow around and they just have to be one one twelve point seven apart so I'm going to try and do it the way that they're doing it. So set the dimensions to 
7 divided by 2 is 6.35. So 6.35 for y. And, and I didn't want that for yeah, yeah, okay. And what I noticed is as well, if you look at the um, where the back of the the thing is, so it's two, it's fifty two mil long, and there's a slight gap there. So what I want to do, because I want to draw a little box, although it doesn't really have to be perfect, let me just make the um, the x dimension to 50, 52 mil, 53 mil, let's say. And I'll show you why I'm doing that. So the user group setting, the x dimension is 53. You know what, I'm going to make it a bit bigger, 55. Now. Now what we can do is put a pad here. Don't worry, I'll move that thing. Edit the pad. And I said it needed it's already this has already got one mil hole because we were doing this last time. What did we say we wanted? Oh, okay, well make it let's make it one point two five. Let's make it one point two five hole. And I want a bit more copper than that, two mil. You know, who, who cares? Splash out, why, why not, why not? So there we go, there's the two battery terminals. Um, no, that's only one. I'll add the other one in. And I want to draw a box around here. And I want it to be slightly bigger than this width. So I'm going to make this 8. So I can draw, because I'm trying to draw a, a kind of space for the battery holder. Does that make, does that make sense? Does that look right to you? No, that is right. Seems too long. What did I put for the X dimension? 55 mil. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. It's very thin. Yeah, apparently so. Battery's pretty long. And I'm just going to go back to, say, a 1 mil grid just to finish this off. There we go. So that we can see the kind of placement of the thing. When we put it on there and see see kind of how big it is. Do you want to check this? Yeah, that's correct. That will definitely be big enough now. Probably a bit too big. So let's just save that. So the battery holder is now in there. And let's now add on a battery holder on the back. <laughs> so essentially I'm going to change this component for a battery holder. I'm just trying to select the actual component. Right, change footprint to a... Wait a minute. Just turn that off. Right, um just realised I haven't even named these pads anything. We need to know which one is a positive terminal as well. So that's the negative one will be on the left, on the top. Yeah. So let's make that, just want to see what the negative terminal is on the PCB. The negative terminal is pin 2. So what we want to do is 
negative terminal needs to be pin two. So make this pan, pad number two. Make this pad number one. Okay, there we go. That's better. So now that this should work when we try and insert this battery holder. So I'm gonna just edit this, change the footprint, browse, I want battery holder, there we go. I'm gonna change the damn thing. <laughs> right, there we go, now we've got this giant battery holder. That's not that big actually, is it? Surely it should be wider than that if it's got two batteries in it. I suppose it, it doesn't because they're AA. It needs to be a little bit wider than that, but never mind. Let's rotate that thing around, and it's already on the back layer because I was editing the back layer last. Now these are very big holes, so we need like quite a lot of space for this. Why don't I just put it? I'm gonna put it there. It's a bit. It's offset. Ideally, you'd want this centered because you don't really want to. You'll be messing around. What about that way around? Yeah, there we go. That would be nice. Let's do it like that. So the battery holder is now on the back, and we need to reconnect everything. Let's delete these old um, connection points. And now connect up. this to ground, pin 2 to ground just going to double check no that's not correct uh, because we've got it on the back so this negative terminal no is here, that's correct <laughs> Well, there we go. And cool. So there we go, we've got the power connected to... the switch. And then the switch connected to there. That's it, now we've got a thing on the back. So that's actually almost done now. I think what we also want is a couple of holes to hang the bauble up. I'm just going to move this out of the way, so D to drag the segment. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a grid on so I can see what I'm doing. And I want to create a couple of holes. I'm going to go back to edge cuts. So if I do an edge cut within an edge cut, what I'll get is a cut out. And it's about three away, I think it's. Is that it? Yeah, that looks roughly symmetrical. Now that's it. So that, now there's a couple of holes in there. And if I have a look now at the PCB, which is a three dimensional look, what you can see is, is we've got everything connected up on the front, all the through hole stuff. There's a couple of holes now in it for us to hang some strings to attach it to the tree. And on the back, there is this big monstrous connector. I think one of the issues we might face here is that because we're sticking this thing on the back and we're sticking it over all these holes, you know, these are all through holes, so we're going to have this is going to stick out a bit. So ideally, you wouldn't really want to do that, but it's quite difficult to find out where we could fit something that big given that we're using through hole components. But don't worry about that. I mean, what you could do in this case, for example, is glue it, attach everything else, and leave this component to last, but use a glue gun to glue it on the back, because it's just plastic on the back, so it doesn't matter, and then solder these on the other side. So that would work. But, you know, feel free to experiment, do what you like, to change the design. 
But there you have it. That's basically the bauble complete. We're just going to do a copper fill next, which is going to be in a separate um, video, just in case anyone... Because I found, like, if I'm looking something up, how do I do a copper fill? I need a quick tutorial, so I just want to find that on YouTube if I was someone else and I wasn't me. Right. <laughs> okay, so that'll do.